It's a long gymnasium for the second half of this action. The Pioneers have a slim 25-22 lead on the Lady Bearcats here at the half. Taking a look at the Pioneer scoring, uh, Avery Price had eight, Barney had seven, Music had four, Carol Long had two. Two leading scores for Virginia High Madison. Worley had eight, all of them right under the basket, and Allie Sidner chipped in with six. Virginia High's basketball as we start this second half. I think the Lady Pioneers have got their original five starters on the court. That horn and uh, music and Barney out there with a three-second three second call. I just wondered a while ago if they were letting the uh, Worley really stay in that lane too much. Yeah, she, got her there. she might be camping down there some. I don't know. I think she is, evidently. Varney's in there, as I mentioned, along with the horn and music, along with Price and Long. Be nice to get a bucket here to open it, open it half. Price with a three, it's a little short. Barney with the rebound. Price tries to go to the basket, loses control, but gets it back outside. And Price under the basket. Nice pass that time by Horn. They moved the ball pretty well. Horn found Price down in there open. And they had to foul her or give up two points, one or the other. So Avery Price will go back to the line. She's hit a bunch of free throws. I think she hit about, what, six free throws there in the first half, made that one starting the second half. And she makes a pair. I've been impressed with Horn, the way Horn's played tonight. Yeah, she's really improved more over the course of the season. I think so, too. She's playing much better there than she did. Plays good defense, rebounds well. She's just sophomore, too. And shot blocked there as uh, Owens tried to put one up. Long got a hand on that one. Oh, Price was down inside. Uh-oh. They caught a foul on her that time. She was open down inside and couldn't handle the pass and uh, went out of bounds off her, and they called a foul on her. I don't know what yeah, happened. Yeah, it's been a throw in there. That's her third foul, though. Yeah, I know what that's hurting them calls like that. That's a big call. Center tries to drive in. Pioneers been playing pretty good defense, Merle. Yeah, they have. And they get the ball in. That was a nice pass that time. Really nice pass. I think that was uh, Owens that put that pass in there. Price with a three, looks good. Good ball moving again to the Lady Pioneers. They handled that press pretty well that time. 6 point Pioneer lead. Got it down inside again to uh, Willie, but she missed the shot. Uh, Horn tries to go up the shot, and Spence, I believe, blocked that shot. Yeah, Spence blocked it, took it away. Now here's a steal by Music in the backcourt. That's a good idea to slow that down a little. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass by Barney. The horn. Barney the horn. With the bucket. 32-24, the Pioneers back up by eight now, Merle. To go center to the basket, rims out, no good. She forced that one. Horn down with the rebound, and Long will set the offense up. Price drives the baseline, 
Gets it back out to music. Horn had a shot there, turned it down. And a nice pass that time by Barney to Horn. Same combination there, Barney to Horn again. Horn coming wide open. Real nice assist though that time. Back up by 10. Sidner misses. Wally back up with it though. That's a foul, huh? Sidner with the bucket. Yeah, should have had a foul called out here. Uh oh. The Pioneers throw it away again here. Another turnover by the Pioneers. They handled that press, but uh, nobody came back to help that time. Nope. 34 28, a six point lead now for the Pioneers. I think what the press is doing to Lady Pioneers is it's tiring them out a little. I think they're getting tired. Price intercepts the pass. And up to Morgan Barney, and she is fouled as she tries to go to the basket. Wilson on that, that's, that's her third. Uh, they, she was trying to shoot a layup, it looked like to me. Well, that's what I thought too. But they call it a non-shooting foul. Chloe Leonard gonna come in to replace Wilson. Price has it long range now. Long with a three, no good. Price battling for the rebound. Ball thrown back in, and Johnny on the spot. Alexis Horn lays it back in. Jenny, I tried to save from going out of bounds and threw it right to Horn right under the basket. Yeah, you don't want to do that under your own basket there, or under, under the opponent's basket, because most time you wind up giving a layup. <laughs> Sitting there with the left hand, nice move. And Coach Parker wants a timeout, probably a good timeout. 36-30, the Pioneers lead with 2.23 left here third quarter. You're watching high school basketball on ARC TV. Gymnasium, Pioneer basketball. Gets it into Price and she breaks the press rather easily. Music shoots one up there. Misses everything, but it is batted out of bounds I by think, Virginia High. I think she was trying to pass that to Horn under the basket. Madison Campbell, number 34, in the game. First price for a layup. Oh, rose out of there. And the, uh, Virginia High with the rebound. She got in close and just missed that one. Yeah, Price doesn't miss that one very often. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. Six point lead for the Pioneers. Got Horn playing on Sidner. She's done a pretty good job on her. There's a three up there by it's Wilson. Wilson. Oh, almost threw it away again. I tell you, Price got good hands, Merle. She yes. makes those hands around there. And Saves that one from going out of bounds. Long with a short jumper pulls up. That's a tough shot there. It's hard to make that one. Well, kind of floats it up there. She's not shot the ball much tonight. No, she had only two points at half. Maybe she'll get cranked up here late in the game. Minute 15 left third quarter. Sidner about got loose. Pretty good defense that time, though. Horn's been doing a really good job on her. Yeah. Horn's going to get a break now along with music as uh, uh, Lily Gray comes back in with Lauren Booth. Still got Price and uh, 
Varney and Long out there. Uh, he tried to throw it to Gray, and that wasn't a good pass, but then Gray bounced it off her foot, so turnover with 43 seconds left here in the third quarter. Five-point Lady Pioneer lead. Sidner's trying to do a little bit more now. That long garden Sidner now. Got a three second call on Virginia High. Pioneers have 15 and a half seconds here in the third quarter. I think they got that one on Madison Campbell. I think Worley's not in there right now. And Price gets it. Sidner knocks it out of bounds, so the Pioneers will retain possession. Pass into Varney. And she loses it again. We got a jump ball call. It'll be Pioneer basketball with only four seconds left, four and a half. Pioneers with not much time to play there. And they don't get a shot off. We played three quarters. 38-33, the Pioneers lead the Virginia High Bearcats. Back with fourth quarter action. You're watching high school basketball on ARC TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, fourth quarter action here. Be Virginia High basketball. Sidner at long range. He said what the girl's name was, but I didn't catch it. And we've got a foul inside. That's called uh, on Lauren Booth. That's her second, only the second team foul against the Pioneers, so Virginia High will throw it to baseline. And the Pioneers give them an easy one there. Worley headed for the basket there, and nobody cut her off. And Price tries to come up the floor and send her with a blocking foul. That's her first foul. Ball comes in to Price. She'll bring it into the front court. Long open for a three. That looks good, and it is. She needs to take over a little bit now. Maybe she will after putting one in. Three-pointer outside <laughs> by Spence. That's up and good. Long breaks the press, comes up the floor. There's Gray, had an opening, didn't shoot it though. There's Long with another three, that was short. And Gray with the rebound on the backside. And we have a shot up there by Barney, which missed. Went out of bounds to Virginia High. Looked like Booth went down the floor. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, Booth hit the floor. She lost it out of bounds. I don't think. Uh, she went down without a little help. 41-38 now, three-point game. And Spence from three again out there, and that one rims out. Battle for the rebound. Virginia High down with it. That shot misses. And we've got a foul, I think, called on. Uh, that's called on Morgan Barney on the rebound. Yeah, Morgan over the back that time was... Really, it's hard to handle down in there. She gets down close. Now they lob it into her close again. This one's blocked by Booth, but she gets it back and puts it up and in. Pioneers need to pay a little more attention to that. That's too easy. One point game now, but 41 40, the Pioneers lead it. Long heads to the basket, shoots it up, no good, but we've got a foul inside. So that'll send Carol Long to the line. She'll have a pair of shots. That foul called on Worley. That's only her second. Brad. Long with the free throw. Misses that one. She'll get one more. Girl's name's Julie. Julie. 
along with one more. That was up and good. 42-40, Pioneers lead by two. We've got 6-17 left in the game. Drive inside and Barney down with the rebound for the Pioneers. Oh, got an illegal screen on Booth that time. Yeah. But she leaned in a little. That was probably a pretty good call. Music back in now for Booth. I think there's been some emphasis on those screens. Yeah, they like the to officials. call that. Anyway, Pioneers with a two-point lead. Six minutes left. Center drives to the bucket, lays it up good, and she is fouled. Fouled on uh, Alexis Horn. That's going to be her fourth foul too, Merle. And Center can try for a three-point play. Shots up too strong, no good. Battle for the rebound. And the Pioneers down with the rebound and we got a foul back there. That should be a foul on Virginia High. It was, that was called on Spence. Pass comes in to Price. She tries to get up the sideline, loses the ball, recovered by Owens. And the pass to Worley. And Virginia High, that's her first lead of the night, Merle. Long from the top of the circle, and she puts a three in. And I think Coach Parker's going to take a timeout. 45-44, the Pioneers lead it. 5-16 left in the game. You're watching high school basketball on ARC TV. Must have 20 or 25 points. All right, we're back. She had eight at the half, and uh, I think she's probably picked up about eight here in the second half. 5-13 left, one-point game now. Pioneers back in front. There's a three by Spence. That bounces out no good. Horn with the rebound for the Pioneers. Long brings it, gets it to Price. She tries to drive the middle and loses the ball. Gene High comes up with it. Sitting her outside. Center drives down the middle and music steals it. Good work. And over shot up there by Worley. That puts Virginia High up by one and we've got another timeout. Virginia High leads at 46-45, 430 left in the game. You're watching high school basketball on ARC TV. Long to inbound it and Virginia High in full court pressure. Long gets, needs to get her hands on it as much as she can. She makes good decisions. Long drives the baseline and she's axed in there by Spence. It's got hammered pretty good. That's a that pretty time. hard foul there that time. Third one on Spence. That's 16 fouls on Virginia High. The Pioneers have five. Long free throws up and good. That ties it at 46. And Long makes a pair, puts the Pioneers back up by one. Four minutes left in the game. One point lead for the Pioneers. Good basketball game. It's just Darren Owens to shoot out there.
good play there by Music. She came from the weak side there and tied uh, Worley up before she could shoot that ball up there. Price has it. Gets it up to Long. She'll come into the front court. Music and back to Long. Price inside. And music nearly threw it away, but Virginia High batted it out, so the Pioneers will retain possession. And Coach Parker going to take a timeout. 47-46, the Pioneers lead it. 3-16 left in the game. We'll take a break. You're watching high school basketball on ARC TV. And we've got a holding foul. I believe you got Sidner on that one. It's just her second. But anyway, that... Uh, she had a hold of the price, so uh, Pioneer's in the bonus now. Avery Price will have a one and one. That's the first one she's missed all night. She missed about, she made about eight or nine. Don't like to miss that one and one. Shot up up by Owens. That shot was blocked. He didn't call a foul on that. That ball came down right on the yeah, high player. Pioneer basketball. There wasn't he foul. That looked like clean block. Oh, I thought he I thought he gave it to Virginia High. Well, I think that ball came down on uh, Owens there and uh, Bree, Bree Owens. She's hurt an hurt. ankle or a leg or something. Something hurting though. She they help her to the sideline. She hit the floor pretty bad. I think she fell on her knee. But anyway, that's a pretty good break for the Pioneers. They bring it into front court, leading by a point. They just need to keep getting it too long. <laughs> Spence just shoved Horn right out of the way there on that screen. Ah. Ball nearly stolen. Whoops. Spence hits the floor and hits the wall, but it doesn't seem to phase her. One thing about Spence is she plays hard. 2.39 left. Pioneers up by one, and Avery Price with the ball. Tries to go to the basket, and it hit the basket support. Kind of forced that one. She could get a better shot than that one. 2.28 left on the clock. One point lead for the Pioneers. This one going down to the wire, kind of like that J.B. Boys game did. Yeah, it wind up a last shot, probably. <laughs> Sitting her down under the basket. Lays it up, no good, and battle for the ball, and Carol Long comes out there with it. Emily Music misses the layup. Oh, nice pass, long pass by Long to get it to Music, and she blew the layup. She was going kind of fast, though. It's hard to make them. Uh-oh, Spence with a three. No good, and Music down with the rebound. And she's going to get fouled back there, I think, or do we get a timeout? Timeout. Yeah. Coach Parker called a timeout. Minute 44 left in this one-point game. We'll be back with the exciting finish. You're watching High School Basketball on ARC TV. You know, they... Okay, we're back. Pioneer basketball. Minute 44, one point lead for Lebanon. She is guarded by Spence as Long brings it up the floor. And she throws it inside. I believe we got a foul, though. It's my foul music. That foul called on Wilson, I think. I thought she had three already. She sat down a while ago with three, I thought. Music with a one and one. That goes up too hard, so Pioneers missed two critical free throws here down the stretch. Two one and ones. Got about a minute 25 left in the game, and Virginia High takes the timeout. 
Who's the Virginia High coach? Is that Kevin, Tim Timmons? Timmons, yes. He's Kevin the Virginia Timmons. High coach. All right. Still a one-point lead. We'll be back. You're watching High School Basketball on ARC TV. Owen's over there really struggling. She's trying to stand up walk on that leg. Must be her ankle. The way she's acting. Ankle or a knee. I believe she banged her knee when she went down. That was what they were looking at. She's really hurting. Scores stayed the same since 4-10 left in the game. Huh. Minute 25 now, it's still 47-46. All right, it'll be Virginia High basketball as we resume action. Minute 25 left, one point lead for the Pioneers. Worley's back in there after getting the rest, and they'll try to go to her, I'm sure. They need to double up on her down there, not let her get the ball. And the ball comes loose, Virginia High loses it, no. Say Lebanon hit it like Say the Pioneers hit it. I couldn't see, really. Couldn't tell either. They'll try to get something to Worley. I would imagine. No, they didn't. They clear out of side for Sidner over there, but she's unable to make the drive. Oh, and the Pioneers steal it. Yeah, good, good play by Price. Tried to, she got behind Worley on that one. Tried to throw tried, it in the pivot, yeah. Tried to lob it over the top, and she got behind and got it. Got her hand on it. They foul Carol Long quickly. That's the ninth team foul on, on Virginia High, so Pioneers will go to the double bonus uh, with one more foul. Carol Long with a one and one. That was up and good. Good shot there by the... That puts the Pioneers up by two. She will get the bonus here. And she makes a pair of them. 49-46, one minute to go. The Pioneers by three. Plenty of time left for anything to happen. Be surprised if they don't let... Uh, the big girl, Worley, touch it. And Coach Timmons calls a timeout. Everybody, a lot of timeouts here late. We'll take it with them, though. 49-46, 48 seconds left in the game. You're watching High School Basketball on ARC TV. All right, Virginia High Basketball, we're back in action. Sidner's got it that long range. She didn't drive, she and she took too many steps. She tried to reverse layup there. And she didn't have it. She was guarded too closely to get it up. And Barney's foul. Boy, Leonard got her. That's the 10th team foul against Virginia High, so... Uh, she'll have two shots. First and rolls out there, no good. This is a big free throw here, Merle. Four point lead. Uh, might make a lot of difference with only 33 seconds left. They're going to foul some. We need to get it in long. Well, that was hands. short and rebound by Worley. There's a three up there, no good. Sitting her rebounds and she gets fouled. Looks like Carol Long got her there. Somebody let her get in the lane, get that rebound, didn't cut her off. That's Long's third foul. She's played a long time there with two fouls, got two pretty quick ones. Sitting her, I think it's, I don't know where she got two or one and one. It was a two-shot foul, so she'll get one more shot. Two-point game now with 16 seconds left. Allie Sidner with one more shot. And 
and that's up and good. We got a sub coming in now for Virginia High. Pioneers will have it on the baseline. Virginia High in full court pressure. All five Pioneers are up close to the ball. And Price gets it, and she gets fouled in the backcourt. That'll send Avery Price to the line. She'll have two shots with 13 and a half seconds left on the clock. Price has made a bunch of free throws tonight. She missed her last attempt, though. That one's up, and she misses it, too. Price with one more shot. Pioneers put nobody on the lane there. Price's next shot's up. No good. She misses it. Rebound. Sidner has it. We're at 10 seconds now. She drives into the basket. And we've got some kind of call. Time out. Oh, Virginia High took a timeout. Only five seconds left on the clock. The Pioneers lead it 49-48. And Virginia High will have the basketball, I think, on the baseline. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the finale here. You're watching a good high school basketball game on ARC TV. Ball, five seconds on the clock. Sidner will throw it in. Three downtown, up short. There's another shot up. It misses, and the Pioneers hold on. Who put that last shot up? Sidner? Yeah, I think it was. But anyway, tight as it can get. Uh, our final score is Lebanon 49, Virginia High 48. A really exciting girls basketball game. Really hope you enjoyed it. I'm Jamie Forey along with Merle Allen, Ernie Binko, wishing everybody a good evening. Final score 49-48, the Pioneers win it. This has been a sports presentation of ARC TV.